Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install Optofine for Minecraft in 2025. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links for Optofine if you need them, but simply go to your web browser and search up Optofine. Like so. Once you did that, simply enter and you just see the website optofine.net simply click optofine and you'll be brought to this home page once you're here simply go to the download section and find the minecraft version that you want we will just be picking the latest version so that will be 1.21.4 to do so simply go on preview versions or if there's an update simply go to this update that will look like here but we have preview versions, so that's fine. And from now, it's the same for everything. Just simply click the download button. Like so. Once you click the download button, it will bring you to another website with an ad. And you'll have to wait 5 seconds. And in 5 seconds, like now, you have the skip button that shows up on the top right corner of the website. Simply click skip. And now we'll be sent to this page where you have the Optifine download link. So, simply click the blue download button. And now you'll be sent to a download page for Optifine right here. And here it says, I have downloaded Optifine, perfect. And that's all you need to do, bro. Well. So as soon as you click this blue download button, you're done with your web browser. So now, simply close your web browser. You won't be needing this anymore. And now you can go to your file explorer. To go to your file explorer, simply click the file explorer like so. And go to your downloads folder. You might have a different downloads folder destination depending on your defaults for your browser. But for most of you guys, that's how you go and find your Optifine that you just downloaded. To run Optifine, you will have to double click Optifine. And you should have this window that shows up. Now, if you don't have this window that shows up, it's most likely because you don't have Java for Windows that is actually installed. So you have to install that. I will have a link in the description if you need it. But if you see this little Java icon and have the installer which opens up, everything worked. So once you have the Optifine installer, simply click install. And now Optifine is successfully installed. Simply click OK, and now you can go to the last step, which is going to your Minecraft launcher. So, let's just go on our Minecraft launcher. It takes a couple seconds to load up, and once we are in the Minecraft launcher, we should be able to see Optifine as an installation for Minecraft. So, as this is the last thing we've done for the actual Minecraft folder, we see that we have Optifine here, which shows up. If you don't have Optifine which shows up, it's very easy. It's simply that you don't have the modded button which is clicked. But if you do, and you can see Optifine in your selections, simply click Optifine and go to play. It might show you this little warning because this is a modified version of Minecraft. Simply click do I understand the risks and do play. Now it's going to download the Optifine files and Minecraft should load up really quickly. So let's just wait for Minecraft to load up. Okay, so here we have Optifine which works. We can see we have Minecraft 1.21.4 and to make sure everything works great, all we need to do is simply go to a single player world or any other server or realms, it will work just fine there as well. So let us go to a single player world for this tutorial and we'll be able to show you the features working. Okay, so here we now have Optifine and to test out Optifine, first of all we can just do C so we know that Optifine works no problem because we have our Optifine Zoom. We can also test out the Optifine like video settings. 
that we can access by doing escape, options, video settings. And here we have all of the Optifine settings, like so. These are settings that we can change to give ourselves more performance. And with Optifine, of course, we have shaders. And for shaders, if you want a shader, all you have to do is simply go to, well, your web browser, and you want to go to ModWinf. Now this is really if you want shaders specifically. There's of course other ways of doing it, but here we have ModWinf.com. Simply go here. I will have a link for ModWinf in the description if you need it as well. Simply go to Discover Content once you're on the homepage and go down to Shaders. Once you're here, simply go to BSL Shaders or any shaders. I just like using BSL, but of course there's other options as well. And once you're on the shader you want to be on, simply go on the Versions and select the version that you want to download using this green download button. Now we have BSL installed. All we need to do is simply go back to Minecraft, go to Shader folder, and once you're here, simply go to your Downloads folder, select your shader pack, copy, use the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder, and click Paste. Like so. If you go back to Minecraft, you should see the shader shows up. Simply select it. And do it done. And you can now go. There you go. Now we have shaders working for Minecraft as well. So yeah. In this video, I showed you how to use and download up to find for Minecraft in 2025. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.